Richard, Karma, Brooklyn, Braden, and Acacia. And we're taking our crazy RV from Saskatchewan to Nova Scotia on the 100K Get Kids to Camp Challenge. Welcome to Turtle Mountain Bible Camp! My name's Howard Weir. I'm the director here at Turtle Mountain Bible Camp. The camp started in 1947, actually, with uh, three or four families that got together and realized that uh, this location that we're actually on uh, would make a good camp. And so for five years, they ran a private camp. And then in 1952, thereabouts, I, it was handed over at that time to Canadian Sunday School Mission. And uh, it's been a Canadian Sunday School Mission or now One Hope Canada camp uh, since 1952. We're here with the 100K Get Kids to Camp Challenge. We've been to the summer camp just in staff training and stuff uh, many years ago when we were camp directing. And it's so awesome to come back here and see how much they've grown. They've got this awesome new building, which wasn't here before. It used to be just a smaller dining room chapel type environment. And now they've got this awesome new infrastructure so they can do four season activities. This beautiful deck here. I want to thank our platinum sponsors, Three Graces Medi Spa, Bankert Marketing, and Anonymous Sponsors. Without you, this would not be possible, so we just want to thank you. If you would like to support us personally, you can follow the links below. You can maybe buy a t-shirt, become a community member, or become a sponsor yourself. <laughs> this is the harder side of the climbing wall. Actually pretty cool, they've got a whole bunch of jet outs up there. There's so many awesome activities that kids get to do at camp and we're just happy to showcase some of those uh, today in this video. Wall climbing is one of those things that develops a great trust between the blayer and the person who's climbing. This is awesome that we were like... Yes, this is wall two, so it's technically a little bit harder than He's other. probably just nervous up there. <laughs> you okay? Did I mention I'm not a big fan of Yeah, are your knees knocking? Yeah. Over here. I'll get you. All right. No, you're not gonna fall that out feels now, a bit Brady. better. Well, it looks better. <laughs> here. Okay. Now we'll get you clipped in. And we'll get you climbing. Wow. I'll right, get out so of the way. Before you start going, we have a couple things that we say. So you're gonna say to me, "On belay." So say, "On belay." On belay. And I'll say, "Belay on." So that means I'm all attached and I'm ready to go. And you're gonna say, "Rocking." I'll say, "Rock on." actually have a climbing wall so yeah. this is great. Awesome job. <laughs> oh you're awesome no go keep going because it. it will be so fun to bounce down. It is that's the best part in my opinion. This is far as I want to go. You're like halfway up there so this it's awesome. Far as I want to go. Yeah, it's okay. You don't it's have okay. To go higher yeah you don't have to. to. Yeah I'm ready. You ready to go back down? Yeah. That's so good, Keisha. Yeah. Awesome. That was great. Good for you for facing your fears. Yeah. All right. 
Hey guys, wanted to bring an update to you and challenge you. This is the 100K Get Kids to Camp Challenge, and so I want to challenge you to donate at least $5. It's quick, easy, pause the video right now, head down to the donation link below, head over. So far we've raised $3,620, and we're excited because so many kids are going to be able to use this uh, going to summer camp. So right now, take a moment. If you donate $5 and then you get two of your friends to donate $5, if that happens 15 times and everyone just keeps going, we'll blow that goal right out of the water. So pause the video, hit that donation link below, share it with some friends, and you know, let's get this challenge going. You've been officially challenged. We split up here. Uh, the girls have gone off to horsemanship, and the guys for the first part of this, and then the girls will be coming later, uh, we're going down to do some extreme water sports. Woo! I am, not you. I'm going to be the spotter in the boat. Spot. And, uh, you know, what kind of skills do you like at camp? Have you been to summer camp? Uh, what kind of skills do you enjoy? Because this is definitely one of the highlights. Actually pretty extreme on the boat. You could feel the g-forces so I felt like I was getting a ride as well. tubing and do you what are the kids response like do they get do you get kids that have never been on tubes boats we do usually they like crazy yeah so <laughs> if they if i get them off in two minutes they buy me tuck nice yeah <laughs> oh i would say there's plenty of favorite memories um i guess one of my is uh, it's sort of been over a period of years uh, watching a, a child come to camp that wouldn't look you in the eye uh, and wouldn't uh, communicate with you uh, and then having him come back uh, for two years prior to him giving his life to Christ and uh, then being one of the only outside of family invited to his wedding here just a year ago. Um, and be able to uh, celebrate with him. Um, he's married a Christian girl, and he's involved in a church plant in Brandon. Uh, just, just seeing that change from a kid that would be so anti-God to being so on fire for God. The girls and I are going to be off to um, check out the horses here at Turtle Mountain Bible Camp. Um, they have a great little uh, indoor riding arena. Um, so it's really cool. They don't have to stop if it's raining outside or whatever when the kids visit uh, the horses and learn to ride. So the girls are going to hop on a couple horses and see what it's like to, to ride here at Turtle Mountain. <laughs> so in the winter time we uh, do lessons with all these horses and keep them working and then all summer we do camps. Horses are like very therapeutic for kids I find and even ones that sometimes will have trouble focusing up at like chapel or during other camp down here they're just they're into it and they're totally zoned in and they just love it and the horses have such a calming effect on them. We also so we always like to start our skills off with a quick prayer. We pray for our skill and then we also all the skills have a memory verse for the kids to try and learn for each time they come down. Nice. Yeah. Oh you just Oh you just need a rub. So sleepy. This is so sleepy. No, this Did one's like, uh, Mommy. where's my pets? Mommy. What? I like this one. You like this color one? Yeah. This one. It's sort of reddish. I know. 
This is like the color. It has this nice hair to do stuff with, doesn't it? Yeah. It's crazy. It's so pretty. Did you get one, Keisha? Okay. Kick her, kick her, Keisha. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna play the postman game. So the postman game is I'm gonna be the postmaster in the middle, and you guys are all my postmen. So your job is to go collect the packages and bring them back to me. Apple, oh, nice. Drive by pickup. <laughs> Maybe no other choice. Oh, 100 year old egg. All right, can you see what's in yours? Chocolate. Chocolate. Very good. <laughs> This isn't a normal activity of ours. What, mud pitting? Mud, mud pitting. <laughs> have you ever Jojo. been in a mud pit? I have been, yes. I have been. Not like, not like this, a little hole. It's just so little, but it'd be fun. Makes you most nervous because you don't really know what's in there. You don't know what's in there. You, you don't know in. how deep it is. Like there could be a raccoon. In there. I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going in. Oh! Yeah. The cold. Oh, it's so cold. Opportunities you only get at camp. Yeah. My retro life jacket on with my maiden name in it. We're gonna see if this baby still floats. I don't know if life jackets have a expiry date on it, but this one be expired. If <laughs> they did. Oh dear. You know it's old and the snap looks like the diaper. <laughs> also there's a sea monster over there, I'm pretty sure, because there's bubbles coming up. Oh no, sea monsters in this lake. And they can't oh, zoom I, in. <laughs> Mom doesn't know what to do. She's never stepped on a rock in her life. Beaver over there? Is that a beaver? Oh, yeah. We're chasing it. Oh, 
Guys, we're gaining on it. I don't feel like this is a good idea. But I want to see the beaver. But if I see a snake, I'm out. We saw a turtle. Did you? Dad said it jumped off a log over there. Dad? Dad? Dad! Dad, this isn't a good idea. Dad, no. Dad. Dad. I don't like this. Dad, I don't like this idea. Dad, we're gonna get stuck in here and I'm gonna have nightmares. Ah! A plant fell in our canoe! Paddle. I'm trying! I'm a voyager! Brayden, I wouldn't recommend you do this. Because I feel like your boat will tip. What did you learn today? There. That should be right. Eh? Well, now the whole thing's going to be covered up by Brayden. Sorry. Brayden, move. We just missed the whole moment because Brayden was sitting in front of the camera. That's okay. You want me to go back in and do it? No, it doesn't matter. No. In the end case, it looks just as epic. It was pretty windy out for most of the day, but now that it's evening, like it's dead calm and so beautiful for canoeing. Like, look at this sunset. Ta da! He's so mad right now. <laughs> He's mad. Oh, I'm so wet. <laughs> Camp is one of those things, like most people don't have canoes or kayaks just available to them, and yet this is an activity that we do at camp all the time, which is awesome. Uh, we don't have the ability to haul those, well, we haven't created the ability to haul those things on our camper, and yet uh, we come to camp and it's a skill that you can develop and something new that you can try. So if you've never done it, there's a camp close to you by all means. You know, make sure you go to camp. Brayden, you better get up before we get there. Yeah, you see that corner? Why? We're gonna plow you over. Uh, uh, Turtle Brayden. Mountain Bible Camp's next in canoe instructor. Thanks for joining us at Turtle Mountain Bible Camp. We are off now to Valley View Bible Camp on the 100K Get Kids to Camp Challenge.